guys, I am backstage right here at the at, uh, at the amphitheater for the Youngstown Jazz and Wine Fest with 480 East. Now these are these guys are nationally recorded artists, right? Like you guys have traveled. Well, I'll let them tell you. So I want to introduce you to Tony and Rob, and we're gonna get like an inside scoop, like behind the scenes. So I'm super excited. So I'm gonna turn this around. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> good, good. How are you? Thank you guys so much. To, so you guys are going to go out there in a few minutes. Yeah. Um, so I appreciate you taking this time. I know. <laughs> right, right. He <laughs> just came as fans. We tricked you. Actually, that's the Youngstown way. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. So tell us a little bit about, um, like, do you guys do, like, tell us a little bit about who you are. How you guys got together, who you start playing, that type of thing. I know that's a big question. Tell us a little bit about 480 East. <laughs> okay, I'm Tony, this is Rob, and we're 480 East, uh, a jazz funk band out of Toronto. Toronto, Canada. Yeah. Okay. And uh, four hired American guns down here. Yeah, four, I love it. So, okay, 480 East, that's a highway in Cleveland. in Cleveland. So, yeah, so you kind of fit in this area. But tell us a little, how did you come up with that name? It's not a great story, but we used to have a studio for many years at 480 Richmond Street East. Are you Toronto. kidding? So... We were just not very creative when it came to <laughs> coming up with names. So we just, uh, I love it. I love it. But okay, so it's spelled four, and then the number eighty, and yeah, then east, because, which is kind of creative. Because we're we're creative that way, and <laughs> totally, you know, weren't thinking about the fact that nobody would be able to spell it for forever <laughs> right. going forward. But we thought it fit nicely on the, the shape yeah, of the street yeah. sign on, right. the, on the you know four a right. That for the hey, hey, hey! Yeah. You guys uh, have been doing great, right? So obviously, it wasn't like the biggest that, mistake. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. When did you start the band? 1997. Well, Tony and I were working together already, uh, making music since 91. Yeah. Okay. And we were doing a lot of kind of dance music and pop, pop production and soul oh. R&B stuff. Okay. In the late 90s, we were doing mainly kind of dance remixes for major labels and stuff. And it was really? great work, but sort of as a side project wow. to kind of do music that we were sort of really... Yeah, kind of that you loved. About. Yeah. We just started for fun making these little instrumental kind of jazz, jazz tracks, instrumental yeah. tracks. No and way. Sort of a friend of mine told us to put it together. You guys should make an album out of this, and that's yeah. what we did. And that's how. That was right around the time that that uh, like Down at the Bone had come out recently, and all that. Okay. The, the UK like, yeah. talking loud label stuff, and Ronnie Jordan and Incognito, and all those sorts of yeah. acid jazz yeah. uh, bands and artists. Oh you know, right. You know, coming out and that's really the stuff that we were into that's kind of and, and that yeah, continues we released to in be, England we yeah. didn't put it out in the States and then it got over to New York and went crazy are you serious okay yeah. so it went from Toronto to England, to England. <laughs> yeah, to and then New to York. New York that's amazing okay so then you guys um, have been doing this ever since like pretty yeah. consistently yeah since the mid 2000s we've been on tour wow the first few albums we did tour and then uh, as you know when music got free in 2004 <laughs> yeah, right. We've always been kind of outliers in the smooth jazz. Yeah. Scene. Like, yeah. you know, we're we're very grateful that we found a home in in that genre, and we love it. The, the yeah. people and the artists, everyone. It's, I so we're, we're look forward to. For whole, but we've always sort of kept the that sort of original sort of acid jazz as a touchstone in what we do. Like, right. Okay. As opposed to, oh, we've, we've now, we've, we've discovered smooth jazz, let's make smooth jazz records. Well, no. we've, we've always tried to consciously uh, not do that, yeah. but there's enough of an overlap own. there that... Yeah, find like, your own sound. I cannot wait to hear you. Uh, this afternoon, I was actually going to put you in on YouTube and I purposely stopped myself because I was like, I want a fresh ears. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Okay, so in your own words, Define or give me the definition of jazz. Oh gosh! I know everybody has a different one, and I love it because it, it it's alive. Well, right? It's, it, well, it, I mean, it depends who you talk to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's okay. okay. It's, it's, it's a, it can be a very sort of divisive question. Oh, I mean, really? <laughs> uh, when you when you're talking about traditional or straight ahead jazz versus the you know the smooth jazz or, or jazz fusion, there are, there's always purists uh, who don't want to hyphenate jazz. Yeah. Got we it. want it to, to be true to the tradition and, and perpetuate the tradition, which is noble and wonderful and worth preserving. 
but uh, I mean, I think we, I, cer I certainly, I think I can speak for Tony too, Me. have been much more about fusing sounds together yeah. and, and growing Got and expanding it. borders and, and bringing in influences. And I don't really consider the music that we do to be jazz, honestly. Okay. It's, that's one of many uh, yeah, tones in, the, in yeah. the palette that we Got use. Got it. Right? But in the, you know, the fact that it is somewhat uh, improvisational, yeah. Instrumental, like there are, there are know, tricks, there's yeah. a lot of crossover with yeah. jazz, but I don't consider myself a jazz player. Like I came up in the, in the classical kind of tradition. Yeah. I was, I was a, like a pop music. Kid. Man, so you guys are like multi-talented. What, what uh, instruments do you play? Do you play, are you multi-instrumented? Uh, however that is, <laughs> however that would be multi, said. Multi-instrumented. Multi yeah. yeah. Uh, on the records I play, like I'm mainly a keyboard player, but I also okay. play guitar and sort of, yeah, guitar and bass. Wow. And Okay, and then what about you? I'm all percussion. You're, oh, you're the drummer. Okay, okay. And production. We're, we're God, in production. We're, okay. We're producers, really. Is, yeah, that's what we do. We're I guys. see the vinyls out there, which is yeah. pretty cool. I love that. Yeah, I love that. I myself have a vinyl or a record player, so yeah, I love that. Um, okay, so tell me, okay, is there really an underground city in Toronto? An underground city? They say that there's an underground where, like, there's like a lot that happens underground. I mean, like literally underground. Is that true yeah, or is that? Uh, yeah. So that, I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about, like, like underground. Not um, like an underground city necessarily, but like. There's a yeah, like right in the core of downtown. There's a there's a whole area where you can basically go inside and go. Yeah, stay and you can. Got you know, it. Because it gets really cold. Okay. Okay. So people actually do that. It's like yeah, they go underground. Can, yeah, yeah. You can and just, go, like if you work in an office building, you can go and you can go through into restaurants, whatever, and you can, you know, yeah, you can just, do a lot without going outside. Yeah. yeah. There's that company Pathway or something like that. They've done a bunch of these sort of really? underground, yeah. very ornate type hallways, huge. It's a little bit. Get you from A to B, but in a nice yeah, way. Right. And calling it an underground city is a bit of an example. Okay, okay. That's, that's not really <laughs> Yeah. But it's not the New York subway tunnels. No, but no. But I mean, is, sorry, there is one station that was built. Okay, there are hidden, forgotten uh, stations. Yeah, stations they in Toronto too. Yeah. So they have nights in Toronto where you go down and go on to have like, or have have like a pop up, really? pop up thing in a, in a in like a forgotten tunnel of. Like, and they'll uh, do some for film shoots because a lot of films get yeah, shot sure, in yeah. Toronto, and they'll, they'll open up some of those for film shoots. Got it. Wow. Yeah. Now, do you guys speak French? A little bit. Uh, <laughs> not, not for, you know, we, we all take it. We all take it through. through yeah, school. we have to take it in, in high school. Right? Oh, do you? Oh, okay, okay. So you have that nice. Yeah. My kids, though, they speak it. Really? And write it. And Wow, that's pretty cool. So I spent some time in Gravelberg, Saskatchewan, um, Canada. Uh, you probably never heard of it, but <laughs> th there's a big, very big divide still on the English versus the French, and I got schooled on it. So it was very interesting, the history of Canada and all the, yeah, very, it very interesting. It's a very big country, it is. not a lot of people, and they're very spread out. So you right, right. Yeah, you know, Saskatchewan is very far from Toronto, like it's a whole uh, different thing. And then the West Coast, like, so can you? Different. We're right next door to Quebec, right? Which is right. So that's province. yes. So we're, and our, and our, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ontario's capital is Ottawa, which is right across the border from Quebec. So right. got Ontario it. Ontario is much more bilingual, and it's really not a thing. We're, got we're, it. Got it. Got it. Okay. The further west you go, the right. divide right. becomes an issue. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So can you guys um, say something with the Canadian a eh, a? Eh? The weather's really nice, eh? <laughs> that's a terrible Canadian accent. Eh? Yeah. We gotta. You gotta hold it up again. Right, right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Wait, what is that stuff that um, it's French fries with? With poutine. 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 Uh, yes. Oh, that is hilarious. Poutine is real. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> poutine is real. Okay. Um, last but not least, um, uh, have you ever played in Youngstown before? So no. is this your first time? So this is your first time in town? Yeah. Uh, well, welcome and thank you for coming. Yes, um, <laughs> is there any is there any memorable places that you've been? Like maybe top, I know that there's, if in I were to town. ask. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, in Youngstown. Yeah, it's just the number one place. You probably haven't had much time to go. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Yeah, we guys, guys, we got their number one approval. <laughs> Best place in Youngstown. Okay, um, no, but like in your travels, what is like, have you ever, I mean, like, which is an off the cuff memorable place that you've know. been? We, I mean, we love going everywhere. That's, you know. We played Portugal a couple of months ago. That was 
Really? That was very nice. It's pretty wow. spectacular. I mean, there's a lot of beautiful spots in, yeah, in, that's in why America I, and, you know, but when, uh, every time we can get over to Europe, it's usually something pretty special. Yeah, we the did, history uh, and the architecture. show in Crane's Roost in Florida. It's oh. like but the idea, the, the concept is a barge out on the water and the audience is on the shore. And oh. the stage is floating out of the Yeah, water. very cool. That was a lot of fun. Oh, that would definitely be cool. Yeah, that definitely. Was, that was the top, top five for sure. A lot, yes. of, a lot of very cool places. Wow, very cool. Okay, so you guys are online. You guys are on Facebook, all the social media. Oh, yeah. Okay, awesome. So, um, guys, I'm going to show you some of the music once they go on stage. And if you like their sound, then definitely follow, like, buy. You, they could buy stuff yeah. offline, right? Yes. Yeah. And I get 2% commit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Guys, so much for taking the time to do this. I look forward to hearing you out there. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Everybody feeling tonight? What a perfect, perfect night. This is fantastic. Thank you all for coming out. We're gonna have a good time. That tune was called Four on the Floor. That uh, is off an EP we put out a few years ago. We have copies of it back there if anyone wants to buy a CD. That might not be the last plug I make for merchandise uh, during the set tonight, but it's certainly the first. All right, let's do a bit of sandbar. Thank you. 